All right, guys, we were hired to cut these squares out of the concrete. One, two, three, over here, because they want to put a lift in here. There's their lift. We're at an auto body shop, and they want to put a lift in here, and the concrete has to be at least five inches thick, and it's not, so... Um, they tested, drilled some test holes in it. The people that are installing the lifts, they put a little sad face there because they didn't have it deep enough. So um, we got to cut these out, these two, three, and then they're going to install these lifts. So this one here, they were able to install. The concrete was thicker over here. So they were able to bolt it down, put their expansion nuts in there, and bolts and bolted it right down but these ones no good so if we're gonna cut it out so we're here today Clifford over here, the red dog, and we're throwing everything right in there. I'm gonna dump it. We don't have to handle it twice. But that's what she looks like. We're down a good six, six and a half inches. It's gonna be good. It's all stone under there. So we're gonna drill some rebar in there. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe three per side. Now we're doing it. Alright guys, this is how much uh, debris we took out of there. Decent amount. Gophers over there drilling. We got to drill 36 holes for rebar. And then we're going to lay wire mesh in there. And I'll show you what that looks like when I get back. I'm going to head home and dump this. And I'll be back. I have a spot here at the house, guys, that I dump rocks and concrete and stuff like that so that's where i'm at I got clifford here i'm gonna dump this uh concrete debris right here and then i won't have to worry about it because i'll just bury it it's just hard fill at that point in there. 
that's what we took out it took us two hours to do that to cut those holes and get rid of all that stuff me and the boys and clifford now we're going to cut some rebar and dustin's back there drilling holes we're going to put some rebar and wire mesh in there and then we'll show you what that looks like all right guys we are just finishing up we got three rebars in each side so 12 rebars per pad then we got some wire mesh kind of sitting on the on the rebar Dustin's actually tying it these little wire ties and just tied it to the rebar which will hold it up and then uh, we're ready for concrete but we're not pouring it today today's Saturday this was just a little fill-in job because um, we do work for this guy over here at the body shop. He wants to get his uh, lifts put in here. So we got to get this concrete poured this week coming up so that it can cure and he can do his lifts. That's a brand new lift right there just sitting there waiting. So that's how we did it. We're a good probably eight inches thick in the middle. Six inches around the edge. Got all the stuff dumped out we're just gonna clean up a little bit here and we'll head out and i'll show you how we pour this thing this week all right guys we're back over to the body shop and we're going to pour the squares that we cut out saturday and got all ready we got the brentwood wheelbarrow and we are going to just wheel it in Got our wire mesh in there, got our rebars drilled in. Those rebars drill in about seven inches. So that's gonna tie everything together. We are using 4,000 pound concrete and it's a commercial mix. And it also has, uh, we're gonna put 2% accelerator in it today. And uh, that's gonna make it dry quicker. So that's what we're gonna do. It'll dry quicker and it'll actually give it, um, it'll give it, 4,000 pound braking force at seven days so he can uh, install his lift quicker that's why we're using that special mix and th when they get here they're going to put the accelerator in instead of putting it at the plant and yeah, they put the accelerator in at the plant it might kind of take off on us and be really hard to work with so um, they're going to get here we're going to throw the accelerator in wheelbarrow it we got some short screed sticks over here we're just going to quick screed it off and gonna be pretty easy it's a rainy day today so that's why we chose to do this today today's tuesday um we prepped this saturday in the video that was saturday and we're gonna rip here stay tuned well the mud's here guys and he doesn't know where to go i gotta chase him down here i don't know who the driver is but hello right here It is. Circle T baby, 315-963-2231. Maybe we can maybe this car's in his way. Stay tuned guys, we'll get him in there. Biscuit's climbing up the truck. We got the accelerator. Watch your hand where that drum spin. He is spinning his load up the drum. So Biscuit can dump that accelerator right on it. Or now he's gonna spin his drum. When he spins his drum that way, it'll pull the concrete off the barrel. Once it gets up to the top, Jason's gonna dump that liquid accelerator on there. And that's 2% accelerator for the amount of concrete we got, which is a yard and a half. It only calls for a yard, but we got Fred here today, driver. Circle T right there. That's their credentials. Perfect. Stopped it perfect. 963-2231. Just dump it in there. Quit thinking about it. Should be 10%. No. <laughs> What's that swoop at? Uh, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Alright. We don't want it super wet, so it's gonna take us just a minute to put it in, I wouldn't say. All right, we got uh, the wheelbarrow here with uh, 
some cardboard down. Try to control the splatter. Alright boys and girls, let's see what she looks like. Let's see what our slump is. He's pulling it up now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I give him a, Jason likes the. Gopher's not scared. Gopher ain't afraid. Right. You going to the gym tonight? <laughs> this is your gym right there. We don't need to go to the gym. If that ain't gonna work out, nothing is. Who's Jim? <laughs> Jim who? <laughs> See how it goes here. Oh, look at that, huh? Oh, more than that. See you wire mesh, please. We got it right there. We're pulling it up. This wire is nice. It's laid right on them bars. how we're gonna do it here big four today boys big four fill that wheelbarrow up for gopher give her another shot there we go that's a gopher wheelbarrow right there not quite a big biscuit wheelbarrow but no that's perfect <laughs> Love that shirt. Here comes the mud. Stand up. Oh yeah. That's so nice. We're almost one third the way done. <laughs> you need six wheelbarrows basically. I figured it was, it's a yard, but I figured a yard and a half. Because it's pretty deep in the middle. I made it a nice eight inches in the middle where the lift's going to be. Do you want them just to dump in this one and then shovel it right into there? Instead of trying to, oh, it's in the truck. We can get one. I'll go grab one. Oh, okay. Gopher coming up. Dump it in the second hole, but save just a splash. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. don't, don't send it all. Yeah, don't send it all. You missed. So, trying to keep things nice, and then you got a gopher. Oh, there we go. Almost. Love it. Everybody's gonna want one. It's a nice workable slump. I wanna pour it too tight, it won't get in there, you know. That's what we needed yesterday, huh? Yeah. Afternoon. <laughs> that slump right there. Big screed stick over there we're gonna use huh? Good. Yep. Oh that one looks nice right there. We don't set him, he's gonna drill him. So I guess guys, if you wanna put a lift in your garage and your concrete's not thick enough, this is your solution. You wanna help pulling that off? 
Oh, there's a little seesaw action. Oh, look at him go. Uh, I do have. Yep. Pretty close right there, huh? Water City over here. Yeah, let's sweep up. Let's see, you got enough in there. Pump the rest in the third hole. Yeah. I'm get in trouble here with the wire mesh, please. Got wire up. I had to pull the wire up. I don't want to get in trouble. Would you call it a cane? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you need to come along to hold you up. <laughs> oh, back it up a little. Yep, right there. Well, then you slid back a little. Slid, but you still got it. Yeah, could have used the power buggy for this one, huh? We've been done already. Yeah, I gotta go pick it up. Yeah. Done. Like, like, it's already fixed. Oh, yeah. Hey, one more wheelbarrow, just about, huh? Then we gotta see where we go. Probably have to wash them right, right out in the. Oh, we can drive them out back, I guess. Uh, it's gonna be really close. Let's see, what, let's see where we end up. Hold on, guys. 